Oh, hello, seventh graders. Oh, hey, let's go over your homework. Those questions from 12.3. We've been studying ancient Islamic empires. We talked about the geography. We talked about Muhammad and the founding and the roots of the religion of Islam and Muslims. Today, we're going to talk about the empires, uh, the actual civilizations, and uh, who ruled who, and all that good stuff. So, the questions. The first one, what is a caliph or caliph? I've heard both. Well, what do you say, Caesar? Caliph. I say caliph too. Uh, as we can see here, it's the title that Muslims use to the highest leader of Islam. Uh, that was right here in the textbook definition. So this guy, Abu, and I don't know how to say his last name, Bakr, Baker, Bakar, I'm not sure. My apologies to Abu. But anyway, after Muhammad's death, he essentially gains power uh, in the uh, Islamic empire, and he unites uh, the, the Muslims of the Arabian Peninsula, and uh, he is really the founder of the first uh, Muslim empire. So that's what maybe we put for number two, uh, one of Muhammad's first converts after his death, chosen to be the leader. A couple of battles later, he unifies all of the Arabian Peninsula as one Muslim state. So uh, when these Muslims uh, conquered other Muslims, uh, they did let them practice their own religion. Uh, Christians, Jews, they were allowed to practice their own religion. So you might have answered, yeah, I thought that was fair. Is that fair, Caesar? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that's fair. But you might have also answered unfair because they didn't have the same rights, these conquered people, as the Muslims did. They were kind of treated as second-class citizens. So would you say that's unfair, Caesar? Yes. Yeah, so for that one, maybe fair and unfair. It kind of depends on your point of view. So as we continued reading in here, um, basically through trade and the army, as you can imagine, uh, Islamic influence spread. I mean, when Muslims conquer new areas, Islam was introduced to these people, and slowly some of them were converted. The same thing with trade. During some of the economic exchanges, some ideas were also exchanged, and more followers of the Islam faith uh, were popping up all over the globe. Places like Africa, India, Southeast Asia. And that kind of goes into the next part of the chapter, in section, which was the different empires. The Ottoman Empire, probably the most well-known of the Islamic empires, um, spread out a, a big chunk of land. Um, as far as my poem goes, I wrote, Roses are red. The Ottoman army was fierce and had new weapons, like gunpowder. The Ottomans ruled for hundreds of years. It was a large Muslim, Muslim empire that conquered tons. Yeah. Well, Caesar's not impressed. He's not even snapping. But weapons, tons, it kind of rhymes, Caesar. Give me a break. I tried. Anyway, there was a couple other empires uh, in different other parts of the Arabian Peninsula and even spread into India, again, through trade and the armies. Uh, Islam spread. And then the last thing you read about in the uh, chapter was the... Uh, Shia and the Sunnis, the difference between the two Muslims uh, was that Sunnis didn't believe that caliphs had to be related to Muhammad. Shia thought caliphs had to be a member of Muhammad's family. And that was the 12.3 homework, my friends. Exciting stuff. We learned a lot. We become smarter people. And now maybe we're a little bit more understanding of the Islamic uh, people and their faith and their beliefs just like with Confucianism and Buddhism and Christianity and the other religions that we've studied, it's cool to learn about them and have a better idea of where they came from. So that was 12.3. Again, my thanks to those kids doing the work. Caesar, isn't it cool for those kids to be doing the work? Uh, moving forward, you're gonna jump into 12.4. What did they do on a cultural level? This ancient Islamic empires, science, math, medicine, astronomy, hopefully years will load, uh, medicine. Uh, how did these ancient Islamic empires 
uh, contribute to that. Exciting stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm really happy for you guys. You're going to have a lot of fun. So thank you for watching this video and checking your work. Now get started on those 12.4 questions. Caesar, how about a Ruther on three? One, two, three. Ruther. <laughs>